Good day viewers and you are welcome. Here we have an interesting functional equation given that f of x squared minus x plus 1 equals x to the power of 4 minus 2x to the power 3 plus x squared minus 1. And we want to find the explicit value of f of x. So the f of x in an explicit form. That's what we are asked to calculate that what is f of f of x. Well, for every x which is a member of real number, so all the values of x satisfy this. And to solve this, we can solve this in two different methods. Let's see one. Method one. We are going to apply the form manipulations as we try and manipulate all this right hand side to look like this domain. Again, the domain of this is given as x squared minus x plus 1. Then from this right hand side, we have x power 4 minus 2x power 3 plus x power of 2 minus 1. Suppose I break these two down into we have x raised to power 4 minus x raised to power of 3 plus x raised to power 2. Then I need minus x raised to power 3 again, minus 1. After having this, here what is common is x to the power of 2. If I take out x power of 2, here it becomes x power 2 minus x plus 1 that is the whole of this then minus taking out negative from here in this bracket we have x raised to the power of 3 plus 1 and one thing about this is suppose we have x power of 3 plus 1 i can call this one 1 power of 3 and this is called sum of two cubes for every sum of two cubes, the identity of it is given as x plus 1, then multiply by x squared minus x plus 1. So expanding x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus x plus 1, we get x cubed plus 1. Therefore, we come back here and uh, we can see that x squared minus x plus 1 is also in this. So we easily factor it out and we combine the necessary things. So combining this, coefficient of this, and uh, coefficient of this. And um, don't forget this negative here. So therefore, we have x squared minus open bracket x plus 1. So this is the first thing we have. Then combining it with x raised to the power of 2 minus x plus 1. And let's open this. We have x squared minus x minus 1 multiply by x squared minus x plus 1 but from the domain we have the domain is this not this so how can we make this one also look like this it's very simple by just re-adding that let's say we need x squared plus x squared minus x plus 1 that is what we need but initially it was minus 1 which shows that we have to subtract minus 2 from here. Then multiply by x squared minus x plus 1. Then coming down to the domain, x squared minus x plus 1, since we have this and we have this, you just have to change it to x. And by changing it to x, what we have becomes f of x equals, this becomes x minus 2 multiplied by x. And x minus 2 multiplied by x, this gives us x squared minus 2x. So this is the explicit form of f of x. And let's see another method of solving this. If we cannot just crack our brain and think of how to factorize this out. So there is another beautiful method of getting the factor like this. And if you are just coming to this channel, please do well to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and uh, share this video. 
Let's get into the second method of solving this. In this second way of factorizing this without guessing the manipulation of how to have all these things having the same domain. We are going to apply the long division method of polynomial as suppose we call this one dividend. If our dividend is x raised to power 4 minus 2 x raised to power 3 plus x squared minus 1. And we have a divisor, let me call it small letter d, to be x raised to power 2 minus x plus 1. And dividend divided by divisor. If dividend divide divisor, this equals quotient plus a remainder over divisor. So this is an important formula to use when applying the long division method of polynomial. Then, so we start dividing this as in the first step, and we have x raised to power 4 minus 2x raised to power 3 plus x raised to power 2 minus 1. So we will try and divide it with x raised to power of 2 minus x plus 1. So in the first, if we divide both sides by this, if we divide this x squared by this x raised to power 4, we have x raised to the power of 2. Then we start multiplying every single element here with this. So x raised to the power 2 multiplied by x, this gives us x raised to the power 4. Then minus x times this, that is minus x raised to the power 3. Then plus 1 times x raised to the power 2. So we try and introduce negative to everything here. And we add it to here. So when this cancels, we have minus 2 plus x raised to power 3. This gives us minus x raised to power 3. And this becomes minus, it means this cancels. And when this cancels, we only have minus 1. Here we still have x raised to power of 3. It means we have to still divide x raised to power 2 with this minus x raised to power 3. And doing that, we have minus x. Then we still multiply again. So we multiply with every single thing here. Here becomes minus x raised to power 3. Then plus x raised to power 2 minus x. So we still apply negative here. By applying negative, we have this become positive and it cancel this out. Here becomes negative x raised to power of 2. Then here is plus x. And here is minus. So when minus times this, it becomes minus. Here is another thing that we have. So until we get zero here. And we can't get zero, we have to stop at some point. But let's try the last one. Because x raised to power 2 at this, we divide this. When it divides, we have just minus 1. So then we try and multiply minus 1 times all those things. When we multiply it, we have minus x raised to the power 2, then plus x, and here is minus 1. Looking at this, they are all the same. So it means they cancel out. This cancel this, this cancel this, and uh, this cancel this. So we have 0. According to that formula, we have dividends divided by divisor equals quotient plus remainder over divisor. But if remainder equals to 0, which means we only need dividend over divisor equals quotient. So therefore, we have already factorized as dividend equals uh, quotient multiplied by divisor. And here is our quotient. Everything we get here is our quotient. So by combining all these together, we are going to have the quotient as x squared minus x minus 1. Then multiply by x raised to the power of 2 minus x plus 1. So this is how we factorize that one. And we plug everything in the functions just like the first one. Get the answers. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, watching to this stage. Thank you very much. And see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.